Hype, 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 squad in the, squad in the, squad in the, chain, chain, man. She a soldier on the gun line Throw another third screaming we ain't hard to find And she a goon and plus she don't give a doubt You get your size you can beat it like a fit of cap Old pussy ass nigga better tighten up She still in the club screaming we don't Baby give a fuck Baby boy you got me doing things I never do Never do The way you put the up in me got me loving you Loving you What is shit you got me feeling you stay on my mind Hey y'all, it's your girl A.O. Keisha and I'm back with some more tips, tools, and guidelines to help you navigate through this lovely city I like to call Jacksonville. And welcome! <laughs> what you laughing at already? <laughs> y'all already know it's Miss Karma. I'm back y'all. Y'all been asking for and here she is. The dynamic duo is back in the build on and we are going to be bringing you the A.O. Keisha I Know You Fucking Line Show Fridays. How y'all been? I know y'all like where I've been at for the past couple of weeks. Don't fight me, fight your mammy. Your girl has been booked and busy. If you've been sleeping under a rock, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But for those who haven't, as y'all can see, I've been doing some little promo videos featuring George Moore Chevrolet. And your girl just been getting to the bag, getting to the coin. So I'm telling y'all, send those email inquiries in in regards to business promos because today's price might not be tomorrow's price. But for right now, your girl is still going to do your business promos for only $10. Y'all know how that go. Make sure y'all email me at aokishent at gmail.com for all business inquiries. That's A-Y-O-K-E-S-H-E-N-T at gmail.com. What does that include? That includes a shout out during the A.O. Quiche, I Know You Fucking Line show in the beginning and the end. Also, a 24-hour post on both my Instagram and my TikTok. I will leave all of the information in my description box. But today's I Know You Fucking Line business shout out of the week goes to George Moore Chevrolet. <laughs> I just want to thank them so much for the opportunity. Um, if it wasn't for y'all, your girl wouldn't even got the opportunity. So thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, you know, just putting my face out there for these businesses to want me to represent them. I want to thank y'all so much because without y'all support, I wouldn't have been granted this opportunity. Um, but yes, George Moore Chevrolet, they're located at 10979 Atlantic Boulevard right here in Jacksonville, Florida, 322 Two five. I'm gonna leave all of their social medias down in the description box because they do have a few. And um, yeah, so we're gonna give that shout out to them, and I want to thank y'all and them for the opportunity. So moving right along. Shout out to all the subscribers for that. Period. Oh yeah, and let me shout out to y'all. I did a campaign two weeks ago before I went MIA. Y'all ain't gonna give me too much. Anywho, before I went MIA, I did a campaign. <laughs> I think I was only like at 80-something subscribers when I left y'all last time. I just put out a massive blast asking y'all to share, support, and everything. Y'all have gotten me all the way up to, I think last time I checked, 125 subscribers on YouTube. But thank y'all. Because y'all showed the hell out. I ain't going to even lie. Y'all made one of my videos reach over 1K views. Um, me and your video reached over 100 or something views. Y'all going hard. Listen, I appreciate y'all. And y'all got my other video going ham over there on TikTok. Listen, I just want to thank y'all. Y'all are the bomb.com. And without y'all, my little career that I'm trying to kick off wouldn't be nothing or possible without y'all. So I just want to thank y'all so much. We're going to take it up. Period. Period. All right, so let's go ahead and move it right along into our favorite, our, our crowd favorite new segment of the show called The Girl and Boy Fuck You, featuring my girl, my bestie, my sister, Miss Carmen. She's staying for the whole show, y'all. So y'all get ready to, <laughs> child, we gonna just see how this shit gonna go because I, when it go to us, we have a plan, but it won't never stick to it. So we gonna, you know, just do the show together. 
And we're going to make this um, a regular thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Miss Karma come on at least once a month, depending on how y'all react to it. Y'all want to see her more? I'm going to give y'all what y'all want. But for right now, with our schedules, um, we're just going to start out with once a month. And we're just going to go from there. So I was in charge of the girl fuck you portion. And I can't wait to it. To, to get to it, baby. Because, <laughs> baby, girl fuck you. So anyways, the girl fuck you <laughs> of the week. I'm sorry. It's going to go to Faith Evans. Faith Evans. Come here. Come here, Come on to the front of the congregation. Because, baby, I'm sick of we you. I want to holler at you right quick. Real fast. So, Faith Evans is going to get the girl fuck you of the week because, as y'all know, her and Stevie J are currently going through a ugly, nasty, bitter, messy, drama out ass divorce in true Stevie J fashion. I don't know what we was expecting anyways because right. this is the most we've heard of Faith Evans since she got with Miss Stevie J. Mr. No Stevie J. I'm just saying. No <laughs> Mr. Stevie J. You know, how you doing? But anyways, um, this is the most we've ever heard of our girl ever since she got with Mr. Stevie J in true form of fashion. And at some point, we got to say Stevie is the problem. Because every bitch that he didn't I'm sorry, I ain't mean to call Miss Miss Evans a bitch, but every female that he didn't got with, he just shows that ugly side. Like, you know, I'm I mean, I'm not gonna say because how you are is always in you regardless yeah. but you know it just takes that right person to bring it up right. at you they know how to push your buttons child. so miss stevie J i mean i'm gonna get it together just be patient with me this is drink kicking in child mr stevie jaden stole state uh faith evans mercedes child and said he was going to coachella honey he wanted to go see lotto shake that ass and let me see what you got but why faith evans is going to get the girl fuck you i understand y'all is going through a divorce but really faith you really had to call the police on that man you because first of all how did he get the keys I, i'm pretty sure you just can't make a copy of mercedes keys I, I'm, I'm i'm assuming that's how that worked you knew where he was at and if he got the keys to your Mercedes, I'm pretty sure y'all still living in the same house. Girl, fuck you. Because you was doing just a little bit too much for my taste. And this is just my own personal opinion. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. I just really feel like she was being hella messy doing that. And I feel like whatever's going on in this divorce, she's trying to do whatever she needs to do to secure whatever settlement she got going on in this divorce. So Faith Evans, I'm sorry, girl. Girl, fuck you. Go to hell. On top of that, you cannot top Stevie and his messiness. You cannot. Stevie, done, he is messy. She must ain't never seen no, none of the, the shows. But she was on one of the episodes. Well, no, child. She was on a couple of them. But just watching, you could see Stevie is just messy. He's a messy man. So. And you entered into a messy situation with a messy man. Because how you going to marry the man who was best friends? With your ex-husband and ain't you the godfather of one of the children god daddy slash step daddy all i'm saying you reap what you sow you reap what you sow child now on to the boy fuck you segment let me tell y'all something <laughs> what more do you yes. want from me <laughs> <laughs> listen <laughs> This is going to Tyrese because Tyrese, you know, every time he go through something, he got to get on social media. He got to cry, you know. He a queen I'm a just, too. Yeah, I'm going to just call it what it is. You cry wolf because you cannot, there is no way in hell you can go to child support court. Now, he um, he was ordered to pay at last last August, if I'm not mistaken. Last August, he was ordered to pay 10000 a mm. month in child support. Mm. He refused to pay. Um, so when he went back to court just recently, um, now you 200 and some thousand dollars behind. Damn. Right. And you, you going to show up to court, never having paid anything. Mm. Thinking it was going to be in your favor. Thinking it was going to be in your favor. It, he's trying to say that the mom, she makes, uh, enough money to not need that much. Sir. You haven't paid anything. Period. 
You ain't paid nothing, boy, bye. These, boy, fuck you. Because at the end of the day, these men be having a fucking audacity. Yeah, she make enough money to support herself, but she don't make enough money to be a single, a soon-to-be single parent, or is a single parent. Right. What does her money got to do with your child? It don't matter, because right now, she's having to foot it for, you know, foot the bill for your side and her side, and you showed up to court with no explanation as to why you haven't paid anything other than the fact that you don't feel like she need that much. So he was held in contempt of court. He also tried to get the um judge um what what do you call um debenched or off of his bench. He tried to take saying no! that yes, because he was saying that the, the judge was racist my dream? and I can't. Like he yes. was, the judge was racist. He called his ex-wife a bitch when they were in chambers mm. the day prior to the um, child support hearing. So what you thought was going to happen, Tyrese? What did you think? Not only did he call out to all the fathers <laughs> to show up to court with their cameras. Now he put them on eat. We're going to bring fathers. Netflix to the, to the, to the, to the, to the chocolate <laughs> block. Listen, he said, Eric, he need all the fathers. But my thing is this. I understand that you want to stand up for, there are some fathers out there who, you know, they don't have the rights. But we already talked about that. Y'all know what to do. Go get you a lawyer and move from there. Yes. Um, men you, have rights Tyrese, too. Tyrese, you're just being messy right Very. now. You're being messy. This can't be you the same man that played Jody. Wanna, you don't want to pay this lady 10K. No tea, no shade. Are you spending that 10K on that new girlfriend? Who look like she don't want you either. All, so you better all. be careful. Because she look like she's so aggravated with you. Are. What do what you want for me? You look like a whining <laughs> ass. Like, I'm tired. You I'm a baby tired. boy for real. Like really? you living up to Jody, my Jody. I would have took Jody. Girl, I don't know, because Jody ain't want to do nothing but live with his mom. He got it together and eventually. Right now, Tyrese, I, I'm going to need you to go back to work. Seriously. That's what it is. Go back to work, because if you don't got it, just say you don't got it. But I, I really doubt that's what it is, because I'm sure that the court, you know, has documentation of all your income as well as her income. So... And, and I just point, seen a preview for a new Fast and the Furious that's coming out. So you just was working because I'm pretty sure he's in that franchise. Yeah, it is. It's coming out. So you got money, fool. Stop playing games. Boy, fuck you. <laughs> Period. Like, boy, fuck you. And we is tired of you getting on these people. Stop. Get off of Beyonce's internet. <laughs> <laughs> just get off it. Because <laughs> we tired. You really. good. All right, y'all. So moving right along into your next favorite segment of the show, the I Know You Fucking Line Weekly Entertainment Recap. Now, I know I missed out on a couple of weeks, and we it was some shit going on, but we're going to try to stay as current as possible, but it's just some shit that been lingering that we're going <laughs> to tie into this week as well, and we're going to try to touch on some of the shit we did miss. So first off, we're going to go ahead and send our condolences out to Mr. Jerry Springer, um, if you grew up during a time like I did during summer breaks, during um, spring breaks, and you had your lineup more, um, here in Jacksonville, Jerry Springer used to come on at noon. Jerry had us all in the chokehold between the transsexuals, between the cheaters, the fighting. Listen, the Jerry, Jerry beats. <laughs> Woo! I don't have anything to say. I just came to get my Jerry beef. It was the pole on the stage for me. <laughs> Listen, Jerry had us in a chokehold, honey. So we are sad to see, you know, somebody as legendary as, you know, messy ass Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer was the king of mess. Now that was a messy ass nigga right there. Let me tell you something. But, you know. He had a, 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 a long, strong heart fight with cancer. Fuck cancer. If you know my story, you know, my mom passed away due to breast cancer. So you know how I feel about that. Um, he fought the good one. Unfortunately, they won't release the, the, the antidote to cancer that they got locked up. And hush. I'm just starting my little YouTube crowd. I don't need the government come and shoot me. I don't know nothing. Right. I don't know nothing about no antidote, no, no nothing. nothing. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's all hypothetical is what I'm saying. <laughs> but whatever might or might not be out there, they ain't want to give it to my boy. So, you know, we just want to send our condolences out to Jerry Springer. Do you have anything you want to add? Yeah. You know, he's going to be truly missed. 
I've been watching Jerry Springer, you know, for since years. yesterday. Okay, for years. Jerry, and then he went from doing the talk show to being a judge. Then he put uh, Steve on. Remember Steve Wilkos? He got his yes, own he show. Put Steve Wilkos on. So yeah. he put Steve on. You know, he had a bunch of adopted children. Yeah, like, he, was he was a good was man. He was making some marks, and he was making some marks in this world. So he's gone, but will never be forgotten. For sure. All right. Now that we got that out the way, we're gonna amp it up the mess. Designer. <laughs> Designer. So. If you're unaware, the rapper designer um, was recently in some mess. He was on an airplane. Don't get me to lie which line it was. I bet it was spirit because this is some spirit foolishness. It sounds like it. It sounds like spirit. It sounds like, sound sound like, like, like he was riding <laughs> in spirit. Um, <laughs> but designer, okay, so what had happened was he uh, was in headlines for um, – allegedly revealing himself um what, what do they call it yeah revealing himself on the airplane um what i don't like is they tried to make it seem like he whooped his little wee wee out and put it back come to find out um well first of all he tried to admit himself into a mental facility the police said bring that ass here boy because apparently he did more than just reveal so he was beating his meat he was a part of the mile high club solo by himself by himself now I'm weak. How you gonna be a part of the My High Club by yourself? Designer. So now he has been charged with indecent exposure. So they went and yanked him up out that facility he thought he was gonna hide in from these charges. And now he's being charged with indecent exposure um, for playing with himself on the plane. And you know, designer, now you know we can't do that shit. Now you know we can't do that. Nicki Minaj tried to tell us that that boy was slow. <laughs> she said, what? <laughs> he wasn't in special ed? I thought he was in special ed. He's not in special ed. Let me tell you something. Blah, blah, blah. I'm in the middle. In the Yeah, he, he definitely, he took it's somebody's given. class. It's, it's given. given. It's given. It's, it's given, given portables. Ed. It's definitely given it's portables. given trailer classrooms with the helmet. In the back. Licking the windows. Child. It's not running out. Let me leave this out alone at this point. <laughs> maybe he do need to check in. <laughs> Soon as you get out, check in. Just check in. You know, let them people check you out. And all that right now. Because I'm sick of you, designer. How dare you? What What was you on? Because you was on. This was some drugs. You was be on. serious for you to just be like, you know what? I can't wait till I land. Because they said something about he was mad about not getting none before he bought it. And I guess he made it, took a Viagra, Cialis. He took some of that honey honey stuff. He should have went to the bathroom. That's what I said. Why you ain't just go to the toilet? And you was in first class. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Seriously. Because he ought to be glad that there wasn't no kids around. Because then he could have had a whole nother charge. But we're going to let it. And it must have been little. Because most stewardess are women. And if it was big, I'm pretty sure she probably would have, you know, Tried like, to hey. get the bag. You get what I'm saying? So it must have been shrimp. Because ain't nobody telling them. No, no. Could you imagine? Wait. Y'all know designer. Could you imagine designer sitting up there? <laughs> Honey bands in a metal. Uh, in a band in a metal. The metal in a metal. Could you imagine that? Like, they probably should. They probably were scared. Listen. He like, looked scary. Right, very much. He always looked like he just stuck his finger inside of a light socket. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know, child. I'm yeah. just confused on me. why. Why he you look away? He look a little scary. He is scary. I don't understand it, child. There's too much. What you got on the docket, child? So I have Miss Eva Marcel. Oh, she bitch. is. She filed for divorce from her husband. Michael Sterling. It's always them pretty ad helpful. <laughs> no, go ahead. So now, right now with, with Eva, she said, what'd she say? It was it what'd she say? Read a verbatim child. We need to we need Because I was like, okay, so what's the you know, what's the issue? What what happened? She said it was irretrievably broken. Their marriage is irretrievably broken. 
and there's no prospects for reconciliation so uh, irreconcilable differences we're just gonna stick to that um but Eva, i'm starting to think it's you and the only reason why i'm saying that is because now that you you put in for you filed for divorce you want this man to pay you child support for your child that he adopted that you made i'm, I'm not gonna say made because ain't nobody put no gun to this man head but what i'm saying is you forced what's the, the crazy Kevin McCall. to sign over his rights so that your, your forever man could to could adopt them just to divorce him and force him to pay no go go um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think it was you but if you want to have a hot girl summer girl go do you because it that, sounds like a whole lot of cheating going on you, if you just, ask me just do you but we you know but i'm just saying don't try to make this man y'all got two other kids let him pay child support for his other two and then the fact that you had him to um adopt your your daughter instead of letting her original father you know take care of that that's that's you got to take that ill and i'm never going to condone domestic violence because what right. kevin you know mccall did was disgusting if you know this all alleged you know i don't know i don't i'm not in allegedly household. you get what i'm saying allegedly i just started my YouTube we know he was a little loose you get what i'm saying we know he was a little loose up there but what i am saying is you know sometimes people need to get popped and i'm just saying i'm not condoning <laughs> domestic violence but what i am saying is women tend to egg these men on and think you know they can just put their hands on men you know i'm not condoning don't do it, it. Don't do i'm not it. condoning it by don't any means necessary but what you. i am saying just as much as domestic violence is not okay provoking a person is not okay either right you get what i'm saying you can't expect to keep poking the bear poking the bear and then want to shoot the bear when the bear mauls your right, ass right now he out of control because he mad he mad you get what i'm saying so I'm i don't want saying. nobody to think that what i think kevin mccall allegedly did that's always gonna be marley's dad so you know why not allow him to continue to be her dad like now you gotta take a l because you want this man to pay child support for yes he adopted her but i think that's just wrong Eva. that's just wrong it that's is that's just wrong it is Period. and i think it is her. like i understand that you want to get what you're gonna get you know how you a lit summer and that's but, what it's giving. But just be fair about it. That's, that's what it's I'm giving. Saying. It's giving very much. She's at the top of her game. He's crowding her space, and she wants to go and do her thing. But if you think you lonely now, wait, wait. until wait until the winter time, because he that the eighty twenty rule we was talking about. Them twenty percent always look good when you're not getting it, and then when you try to make that twenty percent long term. That eighty percent gonna be looking really good, and then if he move on, he finds some woman that's gonna appreciate him a little bit more. Child. You ain't gonna what be able gonna to gonna spin do? that block. It's you gonna, ain't gonna be, be able too to late. Do it. Too late. Hmm. All right. So next up, we got Miss Tokyo Tony, and I'm sick of your shit. This lady is toxic. Three weeks ago, I reported. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm sick of Tokyo. I'm sick of her grown ass. Three weeks ago, you was talking about how Angela was the devil. We're going to refer to her as Angela. Her respect, you know, she wants to be referred to as Angela, so we're going to give her that respect. But for those who don't know, I'm talking about Black China's mother. Three weeks ago, Angela was the devil. She wanted to be in the Illuminati. She wasn't shit. She was a hoe. She had 10 men, and she got a bed at home and didn't, hadn't seen 10 men already. How did you do that? I just don't understand. Now, as y'all can see right here, she's emotional because now her and china are be go to hell tokyo because it's a cycle she's the devil she's a hoe now and then she made a video talking about i wish uh angela would just tell me what the issue is now i guess angela didn't told her ass what the issue is now they on good turn next week she gonna be another hoe move it right along what you got on the docket <laughs> Because I'm sick of her. Um, I'm sick of her. I don't even know why I mentioned her old ass. Um, chapsticks. Invest in some chapstick, Tokyo. Something. <laughs> and that red lipstick. It's throw it away. Let it go. Let it. Let she, it go. she put that lipstick on like it's the last little bit in the tube, and she steady. Girl, but she's done had it for a long time. And my thing too is, it's no way in hell that you could think it's okay for you to try to make a platform talking about your own daughter stating that you want her safe you want her to be safe 
And as you can she's see, she's not safe with you. And as you can see in the video, the communication where she got so emotional over with her daughter is through text message. Let me tell you something. Angela ain't stupid. She know her mama. Just like really? we all know. Our, right, we right. all love our mamas. You yeah. loved your mom while she was here. I love my mom while she was here. We gave our mom. Everybody loves their mom. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. They gave us life. They raised us. They did what they were supposed to do. They made sacrifices, especially if she was a single mother. But we all know our mama. And we know our mama ain't always wrapped too tight. Angela know her mama ain't wrapped too tight. She playing into this whole... <laughs> she, she playing into she the foolishness right now. She do too much. But she know next week she gonna be the devil of the hoe again. She know she, it. It's, it's, it's too much. So I just want to say... And I know y'all... Y'all probably gonna be with me with this, but Miss uh, Miss Carolyn Donham, y'all know this is the lady who accused um, Emmett Till of whistling at her. She has um, died. I think it was yesterday she died. Respectfully. Um, <laughs> whatever damn day she died, honey. <laughs> she died from a, uh, a battle with cancer. A battle with cancer. It's still fuck say, cancer, but... Mm. I feel like, personally, I wish and hope, and this, I don't wish this on nobody, but I hope that she had the longest, hardest battle with cancer. Just because I feel like the cancel started when you told that lie on that man. And then you lived 88 years and you still never told the fucking truth. I'm through with her. And that's just that on that. Because only God could judge you, baby. And baby, you going to get to the motherfucking pearly gates and you going to think shit sweet. And Emmett Till going to be right there and say what was said. Because, baby, you ain't that bitch. You really ain't. And I hope God give permission to tell Emmett Till, I hope God give permission for Emmett Till to be like the door. Who <laughs> knows the door? You can't come. The door. Through. You can't come through him. The door. You can't come this way, baby. Baby, you made a right when you should have made a left. Yo, your destination is down. But who am I to judge? I'm no, not they nobody. push the button or something. I ain't the one to push so you. Just... I ain't to put you in nobody's hell nor heaven. But. I hope God lets Emma Till tell your ass the door. She never, I just feel like for her never telling the truth, I, I really hope that she had a long struggle. She did. You reap what you sow. And karma's a motherfucker. And I just really feel like her illness ain't really get too, too bad until they started breaking up. And I don't like the fact that the grand jury decided not to bring charges. But you know what? Again, I'm, I'm being a hypocrite because, like I said, I'm not here to judge. You know, she got to take that up with the Lord. But that was some fucked up shit. They decided not to uh, indict her on those charges because of her age. Fuck that. If he was black, if she was black. Right. If she was black, her ass would be in jail. The fuck? I see people, uh, black men in prison hmm. doing hospice. Hello. Hmm. hmm. And gave her a nice little well, plot. Other prison, well, other prisoners are taking care of them. Hmm. So she could have went down. And when lived I, out her last little year. Because you lied. You lied. You cost this man his life. And you took him away from his family. He was such a young boy. He only came there for the summer. Yep. Because if I'm not mistaken, the charges that was going to be brought against her was kidnapping and manslaughter. So you was involved in the men who yeah, took she, him. She told them. She told them that. And then, I mean, again, you're not going to go too much into it. But she, she had totally different stories. From what she told back then to what she told now. So, girl, you just was lying, honey. You and lying. the police officer who allowed her to go home and uh, get some rest because she was under stress, go to hell. Because you're going to get that too. Because the report was written up <laughs> and everything, but they decided not to serve the warrant because she was stressed out or some shit like that. I'm stressed out too, shit. The we all stressed out. And until mama was stressed out. If I out. robbed the bank and say I was stressed, that's the reason. I'm still taking my black ass to jail, <laughs> period. On that, they're going to give them five years mandatory. All right, so moving right along. These next two stories is a little lengthy. Well, I'm going to try to shut down. I'm going to try to shorten up one of them. But the last thing we're going to talk about is a little lengthy, but we're going to get into it before we get into to tonight's topic. Cardi B and Tasha K. So this is just a little update. So as y'all remember, um, Tasha K has been ordered um, to pay the $4 million dollars um, in the defamation case, um, well, 
if it's my money and I want it now was a person, it would, be, would Cardi be Cardi B. B. Because Cardi B said, baby, I need my four mil. And, and I, I know need she's it. serious about her money. I need it like yesterday. She got two churns. She got a husband. She bought her coin. You know, she said she need her money and she need it now. So allegedly, um, Cardi B reportedly wants to start seizing Tasha K's assets to start collecting on them four mil, as you should. Um, so from my understanding, Cardi B reached out to Google, who I'm assuming is the one who cuts the checks for people on YouTube. And um, she basically let them know any revenue that Tasha K got coming in, you need to put a halt to that and we're going to file the proper and necessary paperwork for that money to come to me. Well, Google informed Cardi B that Tasha K at this present moment has a check in the amount of um, $9,304.81 owed to her. And um, Cardi B said, well, I need all of that. So if That's Cardi cute. B does get granted to see Tasha K's asset and she collects on that $9,000 check, that will bring Tasha K's balance to, drum roll please, <laughs> $3,990,695.19 to go. Because she still want that 31 cent too. On top of yeah, she want all that. All that. All that. Tasha K, you better. Child. So you going to be doing YouTube videos for the free. Damn. Listen, she got a lot of subscribers though. You know, the winos, they be coming through. But for free. Because every dime that come through on YouTube. Baby, they better raise some money. It's a lot of them. While you was making all them damn jokes at the Chase Bank, talking about I ain't got but this in the bank, girl, you ain't finna have a dime in the bank. Cause Cardi B said she finna see. And Cardi got them lawyers and that money to do it. Some people just ain't to be fucked with. That's, That's why everything man. I say allegedly, baby. You won't come after my little, my little piece of land, and my little piece of house. Cause baby, you won't come after me. <laughs> I don't know none of y'all. I don't give a damn about none of y'all in real life. I just right. poor report was already out there. And it's allegedly so I'm Tasha, on y'all side at the end of the day. Tasha K and the wino. Y'all better pay up. Don't and then me. she gonna get smart on this little clip right here. Talking about if y'all so concerned about me paying, y'all let me hold it and I got y'all back. Bitch, you can't even pay your own balance. What if we <laughs> look like helping you out, bitch? What the hell? The wino, they can do it. They, can, they got her. They got her. They got to. She better call that damn same Chase Bank and get a $4 million loan and pay them back in increments. That's your best bet. Get a $4 million loan and pay the bank back. Then you ain't got to worry about all your shit getting seized. Because if you got a house, you call, girl, I hate to be you. I, it sucks to be you right now. <laughs> Move right along. <laughs> Let's get into this. Now, this is old news. But I just seen within this week that it kind of closed out a little bit, girl. We're going to get into it. Lil Squappy, Erica Dixon, Bambi, and Mama D. I'm going to leave the child out of it because she's still a child, right? She's under 18. So we're going to leave her out of it. But the grown-ups, bring your mess of asses to the floor. Because what we're not going to do. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to sit up here and say I was neutral. I was neutral. Until this played out. Because now I see why Mama D can't stand Bambi's ass. Because mm -hmm. you messy. Now, yeah. this is how it happened. I don't know. Okay, so it was reported. I believe on Neighborhood Talk, Shade Room, one of y'all report this. That Bambi leaking the police report of Erica Dixon. Or leaking the information um, that the... I'm just going to say her name, Imani, but we're, we're in no way, shape, or fashion going to include her into this story because she's still a child and, you know, we we don't play back the churn. So, Bambi stated that Imani confided in her before all of this happened that Erica Dixon used to beat on her, um, you know, just was abusive to her. She had police reports, but it was supposed to be in reference to a clap back on what Erica Dixon said. So, I don't know what Erica Dixon right. said so bad that Bambi had to bring a child into their beef, right. but you're sickening for it. And now I can see why Mama D don't like your ass. 
And this is all allegedly. But I'm going to say what I need to you say. Because you got kids too. You, got you get what I'm saying? And I don't think you would want anybody to bring up your children or anything that right. your children felt comfortable saying to someone in a safe space. Right. As a low blow in an argument between right. two adults. That's and the thing is, you know, you struggle with your kids, especially when they in their teenage years. You you go y'all gonna bump heads. I remember bumping heads with my mom when I was like fifteen. I'm like, girl, uh uh, you don't want me to do nothing. You she just wanna keep you safe. But however, you're gonna have you're gonna bump heads with your teenagers. That's just that. And children are master manipulators. Children don't have responsibilities. Children don't know anything further than they know of what they want. They don't know nothing past what's in front of them when it comes to what they want. So with that being said, for you to take what she told you to in a place where she was hurt to use it uh, and use it on. against her, when in all actuality, you might probably ain't get her way in something. Right. And if her mama did put hands on her, she probably deserved it. Because come on now, when you're 14, 15, you start smelling yourself. You think you're grown. You think you can talk back. You think you can do what your other friends do. Imani is he realizing that her who her mom is in, you know, the entertainment world, who her dad is in the entertainment world. So she probably, you know, get a little beside herself. Like, you know, my dad is so and so. My mom, you know what I'm saying? I'm right. not, you know, I don't know. This is all alleged. This is just my opinion. But. If Erica <laughs> Dixon had to put the paw <laughs> on Imani, I just can't see Erica Dixon just hauling out, whooping her child ass for no fucking reason, no being reason, abusive. Right. Especially we got she got two twin two daughters. Twins, right. You get what I'm saying? I, I just don't see Erica Dixon being no abusive ass parent. I can see Erica Dixon being a strong black woman, a single mother, having to raise three girls on her own, and you working and you trying to provide, and these ungrateful ass goddamn churn get beside their damn yeah. self, and sometimes you got the latest smackdown on them. Yeah, and some of these churn bold enough to call the police, but because see, back in the day, my grandmama said, you got to make it to the phone first. Hmm. Fuck around trying to dial 911 to be dialing 991. Hello. <laughs> so, Bambi, I really feel like, you know, and you fit, and you know you was dead ass wrong because in the latest news that was reported, she came back and apologized for using that situation yeah. as a uh, a comeback or a clapback. Yeah, because yeah. you was dead ass wrong. You never are. First of all, you're married. Whatever happens between you and your household, with you and your husband, right. That's between you and your household and you and your husband. Y'all get so mad about people like me and other bloggers and reporting y'all news, but y'all put it out there for us to talk right. about it. If y'all don't put it out there, we ain't got nothing to talk about. So for you to put that out there and you make this thing a whole one week, two week long type of situation deal, you, you did it to yourself. And now you got to tuck your tail and apologize. You're was, wrong. It was too much. It you was were wrong. Really too much. Because at wrong. the end of the day, you was upset about whatever Erica said and you use your conversation with her child as Emma. That's messed up. And you knew what you was doing because you had video of you and Scrappy's conversation about the whole ordeal. So you was plotting and planning and scheming and all of this from the job. Girl, he's still going to leave you. Period. And that's just that on that. With them teeth. I'm sorry. That's totally off topic. But anyway, teeth. <laughs> it's the teeth. The bam got some big ass teeth. She's pretty. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the Bam is very pretty. Just, and was, I love her because she's tall, dark, that was and chocolate. Out of line. That was really out of line, I think. And that now I see why Mama D can't stand your ass. Because you, you, I understand when you be hurt and you be mad, you know, ain't no rules when you going back and forth with somebody, but the children are off the limits. And, and you they have, have children. Your kids are babies right now. So when know. somebody use yours, because see what's going to happen is somebody, because what goes around comes around. Karma is real and you reap what you sow. It's going to happen to you. And I hope you are able to handle it how you thought Erica Dixon should have handled it when it's when it happens to you. I don't want you being, I don't think I'm at you. No, because it was okay when you did it. Right. It's cool when you do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck. <laughs> Moving right along. So that wraps up um, the I Know You Fucking Live Weekly Entertainment Recap. We're going to go ahead and move it on into tonight's Girl Talk Topic of the Week. You ready for this? I'm ready. 
I wish I could play his song. I mean, I love me some him, and I don't like what Robert did. Listen, girl, he's selling out in the prison, girl. Listen, he's selling out. I he bought one to buy me a ticket. <laughs> I bought one to buy me a ticket. I seen him before he Somebody went to prison, Somebody let me know child. that's real, because I said, I, I think it's real. I feel like that's towards his game time. That's how he's going to get his game time, you know, being a productive inmate. And they have moved him currently to uh, I think it's in North Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina, yeah. They He's supposed to be uh, is sickly. And did you see the little thing that came out on the girl? You know you got that vibe. And at mm. the end of the song, he was, you know, at the end of the song with him. Pull up on your phone real quick. Go to um R. Kelly and Aaron Hall, that vibe. Or got that vibe, I think. A-A-R-O-N, I think. Aaron Hall. You got um Apple Music. Mm -mm. Go um. Is this it? Let me see. No, mm -mm. they talking. What is that? Put in vibe. Let's see. Give me dropping music, y'all. She's got that vibe. Yes. Oh wait, no, 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 no. This is public announcement. Is that what it is? Is that the group Let's that see. R. Kelly was in? Mm -hmm. That's probably it then. You gotta go to the end because I don't want you to hit me with the. You can't do no. Listen to what he said. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get it together one second. I want her. He, at the end of the song, he was like, Little Little Leah's got it. Oh, wow. It was crazy, yeah. Yeah, Damn! Probably find it in the end of song. Well, yeah. if you get time at during the part when he was calling the names and it's been confirmed by several social media influencers and everything, he was like, "Little little Leah's got it." Oh wow! And at the time when he made that song, Leah was twelve. Oh, that has God. nothing to do with the girl talk topic of the week. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> <laughs> I, it, the tonight's topic is called. When a woman's fed up, it ain't nothing you can do about it. And that just, I can hear it in my head, y'all. When a woman's fed up, <laughs> no matter how you it ain't nothing, nothing you, you can, can do, do about, about it. Nothing you can do about it. Hey, what he said? It's like running out of love. Hey, it's what? Then it's too late to talk about it. Too late to talk about it. Then that nigga said, la, 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 la. La. Oh, la, la, la. Listen. <laughs> so we don't get into it, baby. Because as you can see, we've all been fed the fuck up with these fucking niggas. And I'm just going to call it like I see them. So, again, tonight's topic is when a woman's fed up, there ain't nothing you could do about it. So we've all been a woman fed up. Yeah. You know, we've, we've been there. It is what it is. We we love hard. We're emotional as creatures. When we invest ourselves into these Maybe that's men. evil. Maybe even myself. But what up. you fed up on? I don't know. Exactly. She fed up. Maybe she might be fed, she fed up. She fed up being a wife. She just wanted to be a hoe. And that's okay, too. <laughs> I get it. I've been there. I've broken up with a nigga for no apparent reason. Just because I was ready to be in these streets. Yeah, it's about to get real hot. This is gonna be a hot. This is gonna hot, be a hot, hot ass summer. summer. And here in Florida, it it the, the summer then kicked on, and we ain't had a cold day, cold snap. Cause the past couple weeks it's been cold and hot and yeah. hot. Cold. It is hot. And, like, and what's that all about? In Florida, we have a thing called humidity that makes it hotter than what it 
really is or make it seem like it's hotter than what it really is as you Amen. can see we still are doing this shit right here trying to measure our little makeup yeah because that that finishes i'm gonna take me a nice little good little shower and get started on this head but anywho yeah so you know i think she hot and ass she better be hot and ass awesome. she fed up with being it ain't nothing to do with this it ain't got awesome. shit to do with this i think she just tired of being a wife she ready to hide them nannies and get in these streets Anywho, women, we tolerate so much before we reach the point of being fed up. And this is so much true. You know, we never like to, and I don't give a damn how much, how hurt you are. We right. never want to just throw away all that on yeah. the job training that we didn't put into a man. We didn't train this man to like what we like, know what we like, do what we like. Sex is how we like to be sex. And then when he just ain't trying to act right, it's so hard for us just to throw it away. Yeah. So we tend to give me a chance after chance after chance. And that's where we fuck up. Yeah, I mean, as a woman, I think, too, we we literally, you know, we jump head first into love. We don't, you know what I'm saying? When you ready for that shit, we jump. As women, we jump head first. We fall in love with potential. We in there. Fuck that. You see what I'm saying? We end up. Once we end up, we end up. So, you know, it's only right once we get fed up, baby. That's all right. We good. We straight. Because we done literally gave you everything we got. And men will literally take everything you got. And be looking for more. You got two glasses. This is you. No, this is him. This is you. Hold on. This is you. He will expect you to give what you got left just so he won't be without. And men, y'all selfish as fuck for that. I'm not saying all men, this is not a man bashing segment, but what I am saying, men, y'all got to realize women get tired of being good women. Right. And then you got to understand why so many women are for the streets and so many women are gold diggers because you don't take the time to get to know what that woman had to go through in the past right. and and what she sacrificed in order yeah. to be with you only for you to turn around and redo some shit she healed from thinking or right. believing that you were going to be something different yeah now you triggering them old memories and things like that and y'all not gonna be satisfied till y'all get y'all a brandy web you know who brandy web is i feel like every man yeah should be sentenced to a brandy web relationship at least once in their life and then you will understand you can't play with every woman's heart if you don't know who brandy web is, is that that's no brandy web is a thin line between love and hate oh yeah i'm thinking about the, the man who cut the man oh, no, that's lorraine about it i, I wouldn't cut off no precious cut meat. meat yeah i don't Why do that Cut the nigga head off. You know, do that, but bitch, don't cut the nigga head off. Because he might not be a good man, but he might be a good fuck. You get what I'm saying? So don't do sometimes, that. Sometimes, yeah, that's what they mean. And that's what we do too sometimes. We treat that man who's only supposed to be there for dick. And we give him a little bit too much more responsibility, women. You knew he wasn't much. shit. It be too much. The better ready. the dick, the more he ain't shit. I'm just saying, the better the dick, the more he ain't shit. And that's just my own personal opinion. But we also got to stop, you know, you know, men will take advantage of you giving them chance after chance. You know me. I'm a firm believer of cut that shit off at the head. I don't believe in all that. Nah, we ain't doing all of that. Yeah. When a man shows you who they are the first time, believe, believe they ass. Yeah. But I, I do. Unless you got, because the thing is, yo, when your cup is full, mm -hmm. that's you, that's for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever is overflow. Who was that? Um, I think that was um, um, not. I'm about to say a shot to uh. You I see her now? They got back to yellow chair. She's that's cute, but that's gonna be interesting. Girl, she's interesting to watch. Um, Fantasia that said that whatever is overflowing, that's what you give to other people. That's what you give to your man and your friends and whoever. But your, your cup, if it ain't full, you're going to start feeling like, damn, I ain't got shit. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a man that's willing to pour back into you, 
you're going to be running on E in a relationship and wondering why you, you, you look old, you're tired, you're drained, right. you're anxious, you're depressed, you're never happy mm -hmm. because you're just living your life to continue to pour into this man and you ain't got nothing left to pour, honey. If he can't pour back into you, fuck him. Then when you do start doing your healing work, you do start, you know, realizing that you that bitch and you start demanding change and you start demanding your your worth. Now, all of a sudden, you're labeled as me. Yeah. You're difficult. You're complicated. But when I was letting you slip and slide, take it to the house all <laughs> over my ass, we was cool. So why should now that I deserve better, now I'm mean, complicated, and I'm difficult? Because hmm. like I always say, I ain't mean. I just mean with. Hello. And that's just it. And fellas, some of y'all are just very oblivious out there. We get it. It's the testosterone in y'all. Y'all don't know no better. We're going to help you out and give you some signs of when your woman's fed up and when you need to tighten your ass up and get the relationship back right. When there's no more arguing or fighting, when she no longer gives a fuck about what you got going on, she's fed up. When she's no more, no longer questioning you, when she's no longer concerned about where you're going, who you with, what you're being, none of, she's fed up. When there's no more calling, you know, you're used to her calling you all throughout checking the day and checking you. up on you, she's fed up. Little to no effort into the relationship when she's doing the cooking and the, you know, the planning of the dates and just making you feel like the king and the man that you once were to her, she's fed up. Um, when you're just receiving the bare minimum, when you were getting the you know, the extra from her. And now right. it's been reduced down to the bare minimum. She's fed up. Hit your ass with a hay at the door. Hey. <laughs> Just a hay. You get nothing but straight doggy style in the bed. <laughs> Cause she wants you to hurry up and come and, and get, get it over going. with. <laughs> She's fed up. She's tired of the same three moves for the past five years. She's, She's sick of it. Tired, child. Just tired. When there's no more nagging, as y'all would like to say it. Okay, you don't want me to nag no more? You right. I'm wrong. I'm fed up. No longer, no longer needing clarification, explanations, or reassuring. When she no longer gives a fuck about your opinion on her or the relationship in general, she's fed up. Yeah. And there might be another nigga involved at this point. Because women, we like to be reassured that we bad yes. from a male perspective. So if she ain't looking for it from you, it's another nigga in the room. Some will. While you going out the front, though, he coming through that back. Door. Hello. Don't believe that. Hello. Are you coming in the front? He going out the back. And that's just that on that. Jody. Huh. My Jody. Um, when she starts relying more on her friends for support. And they're reminding her who the fuck she was before you. She's fed up. When she's not giving you all of her attention, if any at all, she's fed up. And last but certainly not least, when she's going out more and staying out late. She's really done. She already looked. She left. She already scouting for her. Look, she's scouting. Look, she's looking for your replacement. Because one thing about a woman, we're never going to leave our secure nest to move on to another nest until that other nest becomes our secure nest. Trust and believe me. And the, I'm, I'm dropping some jewels. Now, whether you writing them down and, and taking heed to them, you may have seen these. So. You might be going through them at this very moment. <laughs> if you're like, dang, why she acting like that? That's why. If 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 three or more of these apply to you, you might either want to hurry up and get your shit together, sir, or you might as well go hang it up because I'm saying three or more. She already got her foot out the door. She really just waiting you for you to blake right. wrong. She really right. waiting for you to snore too loud. She really waiting for you to <laughs> to, to 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 cough too many times, and she gonna tell you to get your shit and get the fuck on. Once we done, it don't take much for us right. to just be like, all right, my boy, you got it. So is there anything you want to add to that, Miss Karma? No, I think those are definitely all on point. 
for real because it's the when she ain't trying to argue with you, she don't care at all. It's That's like, the main one. It's like okay, long as she argue with you, she in it. You know what I'm saying? But just don't give her that reason. You know, because just like you might be giving her, oh, now she feeling, you know, you giving her reason to argue. You know, baby, we out here in this world. We got to go to work. We got to go to the store. We got to, it's somebody that's going to say, you know what? You are so beautiful. And that's all it's going to take. And if that's the only positive thing she has heard all day, it's a problem. When she start rolling her eyes at the phone every time you call <laughs> and she hits you with the disc. Hello, when them dr hello right. get dry, when them hellos go from hey babe to hello. She ain't even surprised no more to hear from you. She's so good. Well, that goes ahead and wraps up this week's show. Again, I want to give a shout out to George Moore Chevrolet for the opportunity um, for these past couple weeks. I enjoyed myself. If y'all haven't seen my videos, y'all go check them out. Um, they're on my TikTok um, at AOKish88. They're on my IG, and that's AO underscore Kish2. Um, and also right here on my YouTube channel, all my videos are here. If y'all want to go and check out my partnership with them, y'all keep supporting, y'all keep sharing, y'all keep liking, y'all keep commenting because it goes a long way. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This shit is only going to get bigger and better. Um, I'm looking to do more collabs with different businesses. So if you know anybody that wants their business promoted, want me to do any skits, and y'all like what y'all see, y'all let them know and tell them to hit me up at aokishent at gmail.com. I'm also working with a manager now, so we're going to start work getting this shit because i'm trying to start hosting coming to a right. city near you i'm gonna start hosting parties hosting um uh, event anything i, I want to start coming to meet with y'all and also i'm working on a meet and greet because a lot of y'all have been asking me yo quiche we want to meet up with you we want to so i'm working on a meet and greet i gotta weed out the psychos y'all I, I live in jacksonville i'm i got my head on the swivel at all motherfucking <laughs> times please don't play with me so listen <laughs> But no, this, seriously, my, all my supporters, it's, it's, it's a handful of y'all that's been down with me since day one. And I do want to meet y'all in, in an intimate setting, you know, maybe like 20 to 25 people. And we, you know, rent out maybe like a small little venue. And we just mm -hmm. all cackle. And, you know, I can tell y'all about Jacksonville and things like that. And we could just all have us a good little time. So it's, I just want to dedicate this show to y'all because these past couple of weeks has been like a dream come true. It's not my ending. It is only the beginning and it is up from here. I got my- Up and stuck, baby. Listen, I'm going to be a big problem. I'm kicking, kick down the dope and smack your chick. <laughs> That's what I'm coming to do to the YouTube world. This is not the last that y'all going to see my face. Y'all going to see more and more. I got some more stuff cooking up for you. Again, my sis is going to be coming through and doing this with me once a month. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all want to see her more, let me know. And we can make that possible, baby. This is this this is my channel. If I want my sister on this motherfucker every week, that's what I'm going to do. Because this, this is what we do. We, we entrepreneurs around this motherfucker. She got some shit she cooking up too. So I can't take away from her goals. But we boss bitches over here. I'm a boss bitch. Hey. It's giving big <laughs> click energy. <laughs> and I still what you I You know said. what I call it. Don't do that. It's big click energy over you here. Know what I call it. I love y'all. And I thank y'all for tuning in this week. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share. Again, also follow me on my Instagram at ao underscore quiche, the number two. Also on my TikTok, ao quiche 88. And tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel and run these numbers up so we can start getting that little coin of monetization or whatever. I thank y'all for joining me this week on the AO Quiche. I know you fucking line show Friday. See y'all next week. Bye, y'all.